and welcome to my winter mittens and hat nail art workshop. In this workshop I'm going to show you how to create a really cute design with mittens and hats just perfect for the winter season. I really hope you enjoy this workshop so let's get started. to my winter knits workshop so I've already created a feature nail in the center and I've used the get nailed by Laura McBride carving gel to create this knitted effect down the center of this nail and on either side of this feature nail we are going to do a bobble hat and a set of mittens so I have already prepared my tips and I have used the Nao Nails <clears throat> pastel colour in frost and I've done two coats of my gel polish and then I have done a matte top coat on top of that. So if we were doing this on a client we will have prepared the nail and then we will have done our base coats, two coats of gel polish and then our matte top coat ready for us to be able to put our mittens and our hat on top. So the first nail I'm going to do is going to be the hat. So like I say, I have prepared my nail and I'm going to use the carving gel to create that flat 3D effect on top of the nail. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab a little bit of my white carving gel using a spatula, okay, out of the pot. And the beauty of this product is that you have plenty of play time to be able to create your design because this doesn't set until it goes into either your UV or LED lamp. So I'm just playing with this just to make it pliable and a little bit softer once it comes out of the pot. Okay, and then I'm going to grab off a piece that I want the size of my hat to be. And I'm just gonna roll that into a ball might be slightly too big so I'm just going to take a little bit more away from there and I'm just going to roll it into the ball and then I'm going to pop it and my hat's going to be at an angle on this nail so I'm just going to pop it onto the nail okay so I'm now going to use my silicone tool which is used as a brush okay so I've got my angled end and I've also got a pointy end here that I'm going to use and as a slip solution I'm going to use my gel residue wipe off solution so I'm just going to pop a little bit of that on a lint free pad don't be tempted to use a cotton pad because we will be putting fluff into it which obviously we don't want to do so I'm just saturating my lint free pad Okay, and I'm just going to pop my silicone tool onto that and then I'm going to start to flatten out this product and use my silicone tool like I would a brush. So I don't want this to be too bulbous because we are going to put a rim on our hat and also a bobble. So leaving space to be able to do that but I want the main bulk of the hat to be slightly flatter than the bobble and the rim, okay? So I'm now just gonna go in and create a shape along that edge of the hat. And just bring that up and taper it slightly to where we are going to put our bobble. So just working that product, and like I say, you can do this out of acrylic, but you do need to think about set times because obviously when we lay our acrylic down, it starts to set straight away. Whereas with this carving gel, you've got as much play time as you need because until it goes into the lamp, it's not going to cure. So just using that flat end of my carving tool just to flatten that out and then pop the shape back in. So I'm just going to taper this edge down slightly because that's where our rim is going to be and I don't want it too bulbous. So when the product starts to stick, just pop your silicone tool back onto that lint free pad with your gel residue wipe off solution 
and then it won't stick. So I've got that shape in there now, making sure that my edges are nice and crisp, okay? We don't want anything that isn't nice and neat. All right, and that's now gonna go into the lamp for a full cure. So I'm gonna pop that in for a 60 second cure. And then I'm going to grab my other tip, again, that I've prepared. And I'm just gonna break off a little bit of this white again and just warm it up because it has cooled down slightly. And we're gonna create a set of mittens. So I want one mitten sitting behind the other. So I'm just gonna pop the first one down and again, they're gonna be at a slight angle. So just popping that down onto my nail. And again, these are gonna have a rim on them. So I'm gonna taper that out slightly and then we need to create our thumb. So I'm just going to go in with the pointy end of my carving tool, the silicone tool, and just to create that indentation of the thumb part of the mitten. And I'm just gonna round that up slightly so it's not so pointed. And again, tapering that down and evening that product out, making it nice and level. And then just crisping up that line there. Okay, so that's our first mitten. And that's going to go in the lamp again for a cure. So this is our bobble hat so far. So this area here, we are going to make fluffy. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the new mix from the Unicorn's Den. And this is their Christmas range. And this is the pink ice tinsel mix. So I'm just gonna show you. It's a really beautiful soft pink, but you can see in there it's got shards of glitter and also a chunky glitter. So this is gonna help us to create that fluffy effect to our hat and also our mittens. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab a soft pink gel polish and just pop that down. And I'm going to use my Phantom Brush from Crystal Nails. And the reason I'm using this is because it's got a really nice tapered tip, but it holds a nice weight of product as well. So I'm just gonna go over the hat area, being really careful not to get any of this gel polish onto my background, because anywhere that we put our gel polish is where our tinsel mix is gonna stick. So we don't want any of that on our background. So I've just done my outline and now I'm floating out this product into that negative space of my hat. I'm making sure that we cover all of the edges. And that's why this brush is perfect because it's got that nice tapered tip which means that we can get right down into the edge of our hat on both sides. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my tinsel mix and I'm actually gonna pop it into a triangle tray. So you can see we've got those chunky and shards of glitter in there and I'm going to use a tip as a scoop and I'm just going to go in and I'm going to sprinkle this over my hat so being really nice and generous and letting that sit into our gel polish okay so don't worry about any of that glitter that has gone onto our background because we are going to dust it off once we have cured so 
I'm gonna pop that in the lamp now for a full cure. Don't be tempted to dust it off just yet because until it's cured, it will just move around, okay? So I'm gonna pop that to one side and I'm going to do my other mitten now, which is going to overlap the first mitten ever so slightly that we've done. So again, I'm just warming up my carving gel so that it's really nice and pliable to be able to work with. Breaking off a small amount that we need. Rolling it into a ball and then popping it down just like we did for the first one. But we wanna create that slight overlap and this one's gonna hang slightly lower than the first one. So again, going in with my silicone tool, flattening out this mitten, and then we are gonna pop our thumb, just like we did for the first one. So creating that indentation with the pointy end of our silicone tool and if your product starts to stick again go into that gel residue wipe off solution on your lymph free pad and making sure that those edges are really nice and smooth so again like i did before i'm just flattening this out we don't want it too pointy and making sure that our edges are nice and crisp. I'm just going to flatten out that thumb and crisp up that edge. And then using the angle and the flat edge of my silicone tool, just flattening out that product. So that it's nice and even. I'm just going to pull that thumb down slightly and curve it around. Okay, so that is now going to go in the lamp for a full cure again. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to dust off this excess glitter from my bobble hat. So starting around the edge, and you can see now that we have created a fluffy, sparkly texture to our hat. And that is really nice and secure in our gel polish because it has now had a full cure. Okay. So now I'm going to create the bobble for my hat. And again, I'm going to use a little bit of this carving gel. I'm literally just going to roll it into a ball and pop it on top. And I don't want to flatten this out too much. I want to keep that curve of that bobble, but I'm just making sure that we've got a really nice contact area with our nail and that transition onto our bobble hat, okay? So again, making sure that it's nice and curved. Okay, and that's now gonna go in the lamp for a cure. And I'm going to do exactly the same with my mittens as what I did with my bobble hat. So I'm going to go in with this soft pink gel polish, making sure that we go around the edges. And I always do my edges first just to make sure that we don't miss any areas. And then bring that round and then fill in that negative space just by floating out that product. I'm going to do the same on the other one. I'm 
going around my edges again using my phantom brush and if you don't want the fluffy effect you don't have to do it but I think it really adds to the design and then filling in that negative space making sure that that's as even as we can possibly get it because we want a nice even cure when it goes into the lamp so again I'm going to grab my tinsel mix and use my tip making sure that we get all of those edges and then going over the top tapping it off and I'm just going to go in with my silicone tool and just flatten this out here slightly so that we've got that indentation between the two gloves or mittens okay so I'm now going to pop that in for again a full cure I'm going to pop this to one side I'm just going to remove this and tidy up slightly Okay, so we've got our bobble on our bobble hat, and now I'm going to create a twist like I did for the middle nail. Okay, so because I want these nails to be coherent as a set, I'm going to use the blue for this. So I have mixed the blue and the white to create a softer blue. And again, I'm just going to warm this up in my fingers. Just pop this now to one side a second. I'm going to warm this up in my fingers. And then I am going to roll it into a little sausage. Split that sausage so that I know that I've got an even amount. And then using the back of my hand, just roll that out so that it creates a thinner sausage. I'm just going to pop that to one side and I'm going to do exactly the same to create another one. Okay, and then I'm going to pop these two together just at the top, like so, and then I'm going to start to twist them, and that creates our twisted cable. So now I'm going to grab my nail and I'm going to pop this down on the edge of my hat, getting those twists where I want them and then just pushing it down ever slightly. And then I'm going to use the end of my spatula just to cut off to the edge of my hat. Now this product that I've cut off isn't going to go to waste because I can put it back in the pot, okay? So I'm just pushing this down and tucking it in, making sure, again, that we've got that nice contact area with our hat and our nail. And that's now gonna go in for a full cure. So our gloves have now fully cured and again I'm going to go over with my stiff dusting brush and remove that excess glitter and you can see I'm being nice and rough with it because that gel polish has fully cured okay and you can see here where I flattened it out 
we've still got that indentation of our two gloves so that hasn't been lost when we have put our sparkles on okay so again i'm just going to tidy up my area because i don't want any excess glitter getting into the rest of the design and i'm going to create the ties or the string for my mittens in the same way so i'm going to create a cable so again i'm going to split this smaller sausage into two and roll it out and i want this to be really quite thin so it's going to be very fragile so be very careful with it i'm just going to pop that one down and then do exactly the same slightly too much just get rid of it and then again I'm going to twist these two together so putting them together at the top and at the bottom create that twist and then I'm going to pop it onto the nail I'm just going to pick it up with a brush so it's going to come from the corner I'm just going to use my silicone tool just to push that in Again, making sure that we've got that contact with the nail and just twist it again. And then I want it coming from the corner. So getting that contact with the nail and then removing that excess. So that's now going to go in for a full cure because I don't want to disturb that when I come to do the second twist. And now I'm going to use this blue because I want the bobble of my hat to match the rim. So I'm going to go in with the Unicorn's Den from the Christmas mix and this is Ice Maiden and again this is the tinsel mix so this is the chunkier glitter. I'm going to go in with the blue that I used for my background. Again, using my phantom brush and just painting that bubble. Making sure that we come all the way down to our edge because we don't want any of that white to be poking out from underneath my glitter and again making sure that it's nice and even okay so I'm going to go in with my tip as a scoop and just pop that glitter on there to make this bubble again nice and fluffy making sure that we go into our edges and then on top as well and now that's going to go in for a full cure so our mittens have now come out <clears throat> and I'm going to create that second twist now for the tie to come up here because each mitten has a tie so again going in with my blue making sure that it's nice and soft and warm. If it's not, it will just break. So you need to make sure that it's really nice and pliable to be able to work with. And then taking off a little bit and creating that. Sausage that's nice and 
smooth and again we don't want it too thick. So I'm just going to pop that one down and then doing another one because we want to create our twist. And again popping them together, picking them up and then twirling them. Okay, so I'm just going to tuck that in and bring it out to that corner. Making sure that we've got that good contact to the nail. And then grabbing my spatula just to remove that excess. And that's now going to go in the lamp for a full cure. So we have now got our bobble hat and I'm just going to brush off my bobble. Making sure that we get into those sides. And now we've got that blue fluffy bobble. So just to finish this off, I'm going to do a little bit of crystal placement. So I'm going to go in with my hard gel. And this is just a clear hard gel in a bottle. And I'm going to create just some random crystals that will look like snowflakes. And pop a little tiny one up there. So I've decided to use AB crystals because this is going to reflect our blue and our pink really nicely. So I'm just going to go in, and these are from Crystal Parade. And I'm going to use varying sizes because I don't want them all to be the same size. Just to create that random bit of sparkle. So these are SS8s going down to an SS5. So I'm just going to move this one up slightly, this one down and this one over. Okay, so that's now going to go in the lamp for a full cure. And now I'm going to create a border for my mittens. So again, using my carving gel. And these are going to be slightly different. So they're going to be like they're ribbed. So I'm just creating a fat sausage here. And then I want the edges to be slightly square and flat. And then we're going to go in I'm going to do the back one first, Just popping it on the nail, removing that excess product and then shaping it out with my silicone tool with a little bit of that slip solution on there which is just gel residue wipe off, tucking that in and then flattening it out. Creating that really nice crisp edge. And then I'm going to go in with my spatula because I want a, f a flat edge to be able to do this and I'm just going to put some lines down into that product just to create that ribbed effect on the edge of the gloves 
and then I'm going to remove that excess there. And just tidy up that edge again. And the beauty of this product is if it's not quite how you want it you can just keep playing because until it goes into the lamp it's not going to cure whereas if we were doing this with acrylic you'd be working set times okay so that's now going to go in the lamp for a cure and we have now got our bobble hat with our crystal placement. So I'm just going to pop that with the other nail. And then while that one's curing, I'm just going to prepare the blue for the other rib of the mitten. Again, making it nice and warm and pliable and then rolling it removing any excess that we might not need okay so that has now cured and we are going to create the second rib for the second mitten so again flattening out those edges rolling it flattening them out rolling it slightly too big So I'm getting that general shape before I pop it on the nail. And then popping it on. Using my spatula to remove that excess product. And then going in with my silicone tool just to flatten it out. making sure that our edges are nice and crisp and bringing that round so that we've got a nice join between the two out that product, tucking it in, and then going in with my spatula because I want that edge slightly more crisp. And my silicone tool pushing in those indentations for that rib effect and then going back in to crisp up my edges
Okay, so that is now going in again for a full cure. And again, we're gonna do a little bit of crystal placement. So I'm gonna go in with my hard gel. And pop a little bit of that hard gel down. Just randomly. Where we want our crystals. Again, I'm using the AB. In varying sizes. Okay, and that's now going to go in for a full cure. So what I'm going to do, just to help to secure these crystals and even out this texture, I'm going to go in with my matte top coat again. But I'm not going to use the brush from the bottle because it's not precise enough. So I'm just going to get rid of that hard gel so I don't go into the wrong one. And I'm going to use my phantom brush. And I'm just going to go around the areas, but certainly not over my crystals because the facets of the crystals are what give the crystals their shine. So if we go over that with any product whatsoever, whether it be a normal top coat, matte top coat, whatever it may be, you're gonna smooth out those facets and your crystals will die. And we don't want that to happen. We want them to keep their sparkle. So by going around our crystals with this top coat, it's helping to secure them that little bit more. So obviously if this was on a client, we would be making sure that we're steering well clear of their cuticle side walls and also capping that free edge and pulling that product away from the crystals because we don't want it to pool around the base. We want that transition between the nail and the crystal to be absolutely seamless, okay? So by using a smaller brush, it means that we can control the amount of product that we're putting down onto the nail. So that's now going to go in for a full cure and I'm going to do exactly the same on my mittens nail. So again, not going over my crystals because we don't want to dull them, but going around them, tucking that product under. making sure that there's no pooling and we've got that nice even consistency and then going in the lamp again for a full cure so you can see now how the transition between our nail and our crystal placement is completely seamless okay so we've got no pooling of product around the base of those crystals and they're still really nice and sparkly because we didn't dull the facets. 
So I'm going to pop that one with that cable knit that we've done, again using our carving gel. And we're just waiting for that other nail to fully cure. And there we have it, our mittens and our winter hat. I've got that really lovely fluffy appearance and that little bit of sparkle. So that completes my winter mittens and hats workshop. I really hope you enjoyed this workshop and if you did please make sure you click the like button and if you want to see any future workshops please make sure you click the subscribe button and that notification bell. Thank you all so much for joining me and I'll see you all soon.